Back with more World Cup action, we got Reiko vs. Montreal Lakin, Reiko playing for Team Spain, you got that bulky offense, Mega Mollet squad on deck. And Tangrowth is here, Tangrowth is now. I assume that's Assault vs. Damage on the Vault Switch, and yeah, that's a Free Switch and the Pinsa kinda, I mean Knockoff does some chip. And Pinsa is an absolute beast, like... Something's about to take that damage. Let me look at Reiko's team. He could maybe pivot from Heatran into Landorus, but yeah, but it's Icon is a god and predicts that and earthquakes here. Then I think he's just clicking frustration. I could see the Landorus being like Z move, the which means take way too much. Like It'll if the Landorus is offensive, it can't even switch in that well. Like, it can't even switch in at all because it has hyper cut out of pincers so it doesn't get intimidated. You don't really need the Heatran that bad in this matchup. So I can see him doing it. And you need the Landorus. You absolutely need the Landorus. Yeah. I mean, the, pi the pivot there. is really obvious now, so he, if he, if he like, it's easier break than the Landorus pivot. I'm not really sure which team Montreal Lycan is on. But his team actually looks like Aura. Oh, he's got it for the Scarf Tran. And it covers, yeah, the, uh, it covers the Landorus as well. So no, I mean, he didn't have left Auras. Oh. Yeah, that, that's fine. Bad for missing that. Um, that seems like the this rodent seems... still caught both plays. So. Looks like a weird RS team, like what? Nice aggressive vault switch play there. It's coming back in. Yeah. Damn. Might SD here, but he probably. Like, if he's defensive handle lander, that's obviously the play again. Um, I think he may go Landorus because he doesn't have the hyper cutter. No yeah, more. like what else is he gonna switch? In? But then again, if that is offensive, who uses Rotom in 2017? And I just uploaded the wrong file. That sucks. I gotta restart. I mean, what? Yeah, I'm just trying is to see it? if the room is what the room set would be. Is there a reason? If, yeah. Like I know that room said, um, the Wikiberry said, with like kind of mixed defenses, like some spadev, so you kind of take dark pulls from Ash Greninja, like at least okay. And the Ricky Barrel gives you like 50% um, of your health back, if you had like 25%. Like that's the room set that I've used uh, on a blood, like that's a blood steam that was on the forums, and I also saw him use it in a blunder video on a blunder live. Like Lander was pretty much the only switch in. And it's not Rocky Helmet, but that still didn't do that much. Maybe it's Yachi Berry? It did 34, I'm just gonna call it quick if that like, makes defensive land or... I think that's offensive landers. I think Max Defense would've that's taken just, it, that's yeah, Max Defense would've taken a bit less. Return does 31 to 37 to defensive land or... Yeah. Yeah, I think that's defensive Lando. Pinsus is just that strong. So, like... Defensive fly, maybe. I assume it's Yachi, but I, like... Um, I, I guess it could be defensive Z-move, but I, ha I haven't seen that in tournament play. I've only seen it on the ladder. I could see it being Z-fly for the Latios and uh, Greninja. Dude! 
Yes. Oh my god. Oh, it's it's continental crush. I mean that works. Both Zemos would have killed him. I, I guess no. That it's for the uh, Celestialis. So. Yeah, like I was just about to say, like. Pinsir gets an SD up if this only has HPIs to hit it. So like I was wondering if he might U-turn breaking the SD, but that was a that was a very aggressive play on his part, SDing there. Yeah, but if he's if Slender is really defensive, like I'm not sure if I messed up the call here. Does Continental Crush even do any damage to Celestina, or is it is it just specifically for for Zards and Pinsers? Maybe those. And Volcarona, that the Volcarona doesn't set up on you. I only brought up Celesteela because it, that looks like it could be annoying to his team. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense, but I don't think that's going to break Shard through Zard, it. Shard's not doesn't really look that annoying. A plus one Volcarona with HP ground is really annoying, so... It could be to prevent the Volcarona setting up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like I'm... Like, I could see Scarf, Lady plus Ash Greninja, but I'm not sure yet yeah. about this entire team. That's what I thought it was, and that's why I thought it was Z Fly, because you learn the Tangrowth and smack that, and, like, Lady and Grin cleans. Steak Crush on defensive Lando, I don't think I've seen that before. It's pretty fire. Like, he hadn't turned it off on the pin, so I'm just double checking if I like, messed up the call. I don't think I did. He can't even deal with this Tangrowth now. I yeah, guess he goes Tar. I guess he's he gonna go Clefable to... here. No, he'll go Tar, right? No. Nah. So he loses the lefties and. I assume this T Tar is gonna be Stealth Rock and the Clef is gonna. Actually, usually Clefable is the Rocker, but I'm not sure. Like, what. The T Tar could be Bandit, I guess, yeah. But. Since I saw the Excadrill, I assumed he was Smooth Rock. I'm pretty sure this is an Aura S team he's using. Like, uh, obviously. Yeah, but I think it's kind of adapted to the... Like, with the Sun Moon Metagame in mind, but I don't really see the concept behind it yet. I mean, Tangros plus Rotom both help check, like, Rain. They help check Kingdra Swampert. Yeah, the, the way this has been, like... Going with Clefable being rocks, I assume Tita's gonna be banned then. Uh, which means he only has a few turns for the sand rush drill, the sand. I mean, he doesn't have player off switch in, so you just click player off here. I mean, Rotom takes one, but it's gonna do a lot. Fable also takes one, but what is this gonna do back? Maybe flamethrower. Yeah, I think Light Steam doesn't have a scarf. For, I think his speed control is basically Sandwich Drill and Quick Attack from Pinsir. Scarfta um, doesn't make much sense. This team, like Skafta is just slow as fuck. I don't see that being a thing. So this is gonna do a lot. That's the sucker punch. Yeah, you think it's gonna switch out on the sucker? Into Rotom or into... Possibly. Rotom and both switch. Hmm. I mean, he has to play aggressive. He's... So I assume that Mawa dies to Excrew because Excrew has a pretty high attack stat. I mean he has the landers in the back, but I still wouldn't stay in with the Like if if you stay in with the Mawa I would suck a punch is what I'm trying to say. Like I wouldn't like risk this and play rough. He could go Tangra here to make a mid ground to cover the both of them. Oh you mean Regu? Yeah. Because you either Earthquake or you go to Rotom. Maybe substitute Excadrill, but I don't think so. I'm just trying to like see some ways he could play around Sucker Punch. 
Oh, I think this could be this could be Z move Excadrill. And the the um, the corkscrew crash one. So he goes in the Lottie. Which means he predicted Earthquake slash Rotom, so that covers both. That was a nice one, I guess. But it has the threat of Tita in the back. And it's also called Fable. I would probably just go hard to Clef here. But he goes hard Tita. Gets tricked. Yes, he was just meant to, yeah, okay. So now it's a scarf turn and a, and a bandit Latios. <laughs> so he predicted. I think he was more so predicting the Clefable. To give that a scarf and cripple that. Will he even pursue here? I mean, I guess you have to, but. Um, doesn't Stonish Stonish works, right? Yeah. Uh, like, Landris doesn't enjoy that. Like, if Landris goes down, Axe can become a bit more annoying because if it's Z-move, Tanguis is not the best check to that. Okay, Defox. Yeah, he just pursued. Yeah, I can understand that for sure, but... I don't think the Lottie... I mean, the Lottie was still annoying for the Clefable because he had a choice band, so he could still cripple the Clef with a trick later on. So I can understand that you want to get rid of it. Uh, I mean, if it's going to be Ash Greninja, Clefable is going to be important for stopping the Dark Pulse spam. But he also has, um, which is, I assume, AV Tangrowth. I don't know if he sent it out yet. I just remember Raikou's Tangrowth being on the field. He made the right play. I mean, the Ladi was locked into Defog anyway, so that was fine switching for Raikou. Yeah, I was thinking, like, you have to switch up. Because you can't leave the lot if he decides to switch. Mm, he kinda gets a kill with this mole here. He for sure gets a kill. I don't with know if he's sexy X kid really here or if he... Hmm. Hard Rotom doesn't sound like the right play to me, so I'm kind of thinking. If T Wave or Flamethrower, I could see him going for that. Or damage. actually, if the Rotom's at full, I guess he can do that. That's the he only can, thing. He can, but you like, health on Rotom is also nice. Oh, he's yeah, sexy. Crit obviously didn't matter. Now you can go into Rotom and. Hmm. I guess you don't need the sand because Excadrill is going to be beating Mawile and he trained anyway. There's always the set of Tangles in the back, so I probably would have... Yeah, okay, that was a good play. Because I would have considered staying in there with the Mawile because I have a Tangles in the back and would have maybe predicted the Volt Switch, but that was unnecessarily aggressive, so... I mean, that's, that's just me saying it as a spectator. If I was in the game, I was like, oh my god, there's a Mega Mawile in my face, or I'm, I'm not clicking anything other than Will Wisp. <laughs> Burning this, burning this helps him flinch it down. That's looking like the wind con. Oh, flinching with Excadrill. I mean, yeah. I don't think Excadrill is gonna be winning when there's Greninja, Tangrowth, and Landorus is still kind of healthy. He has switch ins to those Pokemon now. I mean, yeah, but Reiko is like... Reiko has more sex and everything, like... The only thing that Lycan has over Reiko is, yeah, I got the young rocks up.
The smog to shit is always hyping people up. He's saying where is Raikou? Playing so good, is he goad? I mean I'm not saying he isn't playing good, but it's just funny how they sometimes hype someone up. And like that's why um I mean Raikou is definitely not gonna make that mistake, but some people um that like read the lobby so chat and get overconfident if the lobby overhypes them. That might be bad then. If they make a good play, the lobby overhypes them, they can potentially misplay afterwards. But yeah, Raikou's um like Raikou has true experience. He has played Blunder and SPL like two times. He's definitely good. I think he's one one versus Blunder and SPL. Yeah. Yeah, so he's gonna softball here. You can see a hard mobile here or a trend switch. I'm still, I'm still Flash oh. fire boost. Yeah, Hedron was the better play in case he has flamethrower for the more while. <laughs> I was about to say that Raikun never missed plays, but someone said it in the chat already. <laughs> Does he ever miss plays? <laughs> the joke is getting old though. But yeah. This is about to do a lot. He's gonna toxic this one, oh, I assume. Dead. I mean, yeah, he can magma storm too, but. Man. Yeah, Magma Storm should two hit KO. It's really? I think it's gonna do like 30, it's flash fire, 33 see. maybe? I mean, yeah, but Rodan probably runs a little bit off with death and stuff. And this is like modest T train, right? So Most of the time, the spread runs modest, the subset, yeah. He gets damage on this and then. It's no longer a, a lander switch in, but he toxics. So that speeds the Rotom. Um, so that's probably kind of slow the Rotom. Like, I don't think it has much speed. Probably like max HP and then mixed mixed up the rest and EVs and like both defenses. More on fifth death probably and. The Verlissafa spread. <laughs> the Levy's here. He's there. So you go. Okay, he goes Changros. I was thinking about if he sub again or if you go Changros. Cause okay, Voltage would have definitely broken with a crit. I don't know if Voltage would have broken the sub without the crit. We can calc that real quick. Heatran. I will use substitute. I'll just use that spread. I don't know if he has that correct, that same spread. But yeah, Volt Switch. Without the crit, wouldn't have broken the sub from the Tran. So that would have actually been a potential play. But yeah, I think he. Yeah, like he liking his kind of on the back, so he had to prick the tangles and vault there. And I still don't see how liking can come back anyway. Like, Lord Tangrowth. Like, if Reiku ever needs to sack something, he has a like Lari that is a two percent after rocks, and it's um it's a choice ban at Lari because it tricked the Tita. So that's probably gonna be the sack he's gonna be picking if he ever needs to throw something in. I mean, Clefable, I don't know, man. The this, free free. this looks pretty bad for like, and this looks over. Like, this gives Heatran a free switch, kinda, because the last move is gonna be Moonblast and sort of boiled. So, he might have doubled, might have to double switch on a Heatran. Like if he softballs here and the Heatran comes in, he's in such a bad position. I don't think he can afford to let that come in for free. But he goes more predicting the softball and yeah, the lobby's gonna say something and just wait. Never mind, it didn't. So if this most mobiles don't carry Iron Head. But I assume Flamethrower um, doesn't kill him more while I think it's gonna do like a little bit over half. So the player should kill Drill as long as it hits, yep. 
Now and he yeah, just like Spain really has some great players. I gotta say. Oh, the Thorn vs. Lighthouse started. Oof. Oh, the Thorn brought a really cool looking team. We got plus Kaldio. Lighthouses brings um, Pinsir plus Magnezone. That looks like a team that Sorry will build, but then there's a random Tabu Fini at the end. <laughs> but yeah, um, I hope we can, they can finish this game fast. I mean, I would prefer to have the other game in a separate video, but I'd probably just do both in one video. But yeah, it's Sunday today and a lot of people are gonna play, so... It's gonna happen that there's like games at the same time, can't really prevent that. Tell them to wait. <laughs> I mean, it's wait fine. I, I don't think they can, like... <laughs> Like if I were friends with them, maybe I would wait, but like, I don't really know them. Like if it was Poker TCG Gamer, he would wait probably if I would ask or someone else from my chat. <laughs> but yeah, sadly, Poker TCG Gamer is on US East and he didn't make World Cup yet, but uh, sooner or later he's gonna make World Cup because he definitely has potential. He won all his circuit and stuff. So he's gonna vault switch here, he has to, but he just pumps. So the Tangros can... I mean, it, I guess that was a fine play, Hyrule pumping. Yeah, he didn't have to. Like the thing is, Clefable comes in on this always, but Clefable is just kind of passive. Like it just lets the heat turn in. Like I said earlier, Red Bull yeah. has sacks. Okay, the other game started. The Thorn leads with um, Keld. Amazing lead matchup by Lighthouse. Yeah, Lighthouse. so this is gonna be Rocks Mew or Rocks Guard Trump. So, hmm. I'm thinking it's Scarf Trump and Rocks Mew to be honest because some Volcarona runs Charlie Berry and Keldew doesn't kill with Stone Edge through Charlie Berry and Guard Trump has a decent chance to kill through Charlie Berry, I think. No, I think. I think. <coughs> It would be off. I don't think it's Scarf Chomp. I think it'd be like SD, maybe even Mega. I mean, if it's SD, it's probably gonna be Z move. Yeah. But we will. Every we will. I've seen Sunmoon has been banned so far. I can see like like Celestia. He would love the defense of Celestia on his team, but like the Z. Like if I just talk, want to talk about Z moves. I can see the Z move on Garchomp or Celesteela. I mean, like, it kind of depends which one is the Scarf or the Kelly or the Chomper. He doesn't. The he doesn't necessarily need a Spadef Stealer since he has Tangrowth and Mew. Like the one of the two months Garchomp or Kelly that is not Scarf. Oh my God! He gets a Gunk Shot crit. Hard Gunk Shot. This is why. Um, yeah, Proing Greninja. Oh. Proing oh. is pretty busted. Like. If That's he, pretty bad. If he That's was bulky really Celesteela, I think he could have gone Celesteela, right? So he's gonna pursue here? That's really obvious. It's so obvious. I mean, what does he lose from knocking off? I mean, I get it, you want to get rid of the... He wants to get rid of the Greninja, I guess it's kind of 50-50. I mean, I can see Lighthouse staying in. Breaking the pursuit. He doesn't even... There's a Celesteela for this Greninja, so he can somewhat afford to. So in the other game, he got a Brox with the Landris. Yeah. Took a Moonblast, missed the Stone Edge. That shouldn't matter too much. Rotom Voltages on the Tangrowth, Giga Drains on the Clef. Why, why, why did he go Weavile? And Trent just gets a free Substitute, and... He's got a Magma here. And Rotom is gonna get brought down really low. And we do see it's the leftovers Rotom, it's not the berry set that I was assuming at first. And the other game, okay, this turn didn't happen yet. Nice, we didn't miss it. I mean, he's faster with the trend, so he can technically sub. Stall this Rotom down, substitute will also prevent the Rotom from going for Pain Split. 
hard landers on the ice yeah, type. Yeah, wow. I mean, he was knocking up a swing there. I don't think he was actually crushing there. So it was Yachi Berry. So even if the ice move came out, he could have taken that with Intimidate and Yachi. Does he ever misplay? <laughs> Yeah, and the other game, like this has been over in Raikou's favor, f like f for a while. So the Weaver is forced out here. I assume that's Joyce Bennett Yup for sure. I have Render Kalk another day, and I'm pretty sure the roll was like something with 30. So the Landers is gonna get up the rocks here or get the momentum. <laughs> Hey, probably you turn. He wants the momentum. He, yeah. So he, you don't. Get, he won't get rocks up this game. Is he gonna go grin a lot? grin. I'm looking for the uh, the Greninja switch-ins. Yeah, do you think he? Had, you think he's like dark pulse protein? Some 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 Greninja run that because Mew's kind of common at the moment. Mew has been on the rise for a while. He goes to Kelly, which is like. Yeah, like one of a decent Greninja check. And this Greninja is well trained. He got a gunk shot oh. crit on the Tangrus. Now he get, gets an Ice Beam crit into Freeze. So this Kelly. This is Ash's Greninja. <laughs> it's Ash's Greninja, but it's not Ash. It's not Battle Bond. It's Protein. <laughs> like, nah, weird joke. Um, okay, so he goes on the Tangrus. Understandable that he wants to preserve health on the Heat Churn. But I think Substitute also would have been fine. So this Rotom dies to Star Fox now. Like this game is just over. You can even sack the Lottie if he doesn't want to go hard train, but he can also go hard train. <clears throat> like he couldn't even go for Scald there because I don't know if Scald would kill the Gren and also the type of Fini's in the back, the Lottie's in the back. So it's Z move it's Z move um guard jump. And he got it in on a trick that was a nice play. And he's gonna SD and he's gonna Z move here. Um, do you think Lighthouse is gonna go Tapu Fini on the uh, devastating Drake here? Mm. If he breaks the Tapu Fini, he can SD again. He he might even save his Z move pincer and switch out. Like I can see SD again here. Like the thorns in the back. Oh, yeah, SD again is a fun play, I guess. I mean, I'm not you sure. You live in HP ice anyway. So he stayed in with the Tangrus, got crit by Moonblast and Sp Spatak dropped. So this Clef is trying its best to somehow bring his Trenner back into the game, but it's not going to be able to. He gets the Trenner in basically. So I guess he was trying to get the Trenner on a softball, so he doesn't get special attack drop. If he subs here on a sack from Rotom, you're. This trend might just win now. He misses a magma storm on a tangos. Why is there so much hex? Good lord. Like knockoff doesn't even break the substitute. So he gets another chance. He does hit the magma storm this time. But I think he doesn't want to risk it while well, he just said okay. I guess he didn't I guess it was fine. Because he could have just gone into Greninja after because it was already weakened. Could have gone Greninja more while after. And yeah, he substitutes up. Clef obviously can't break this up now. He earth power fishes for but death drops. Ooh. And then the other game. That thing got scouted the fuck He out. just set up rocks and got HP eyes. And now I assume he went in the top of Fini on the Z move. Was it the Dragon yeah. Z move? Oh, tactical maneuvers by Lighthouses. <laughs> nice play. Tactical maneuvers. Too easy. Watch him go back into land on the EQ. Whew. Yeah. Oh wow, he really made that play and got it correct. The tactical maneuvers. And yeah, he just said I had enough. Did he let's go for outrage, let's sack the Yeah, this um this is in Lighthouse's favor, like this is over. I mean he did get two crits and the freeze, like it's hard to say how the match would have gone. But nonetheless he played pretty well around that guard trump, you can say. Um he's Lighthouse is on Team Brazil. I, I think Pincer was gonna end up winning this game anyway. It just kind of sped it up. It's funny how Heatron is getting so many leftovers before the substitute breaks, so it can even make a new substitute. 
because Moonglass is four times resisted. Um, he just still didn't get us the death drop. Like I'm just skipping turns because this is like playing set up so I can bring this whole game it's back. It's just pretty fast forward. Like it's just him fishing for the death drop, and like it's obviously like and can't win. And I really gotta look at which team um, the thorn is on. And we will die through moon, but crit just to rub some salt in the wound. Crit might have mattered because we will have okay spit death. Like it might have been a roll to kill, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but yeah, he flamethrower breaked in the magna zone. Do you already notice we're just gonna ice beam freeze again? <laughs> what would the last move be? He doesn't. He doesn't have HP fire ice beam because he has a magna zone. Gunshot ice beam. Whoa, he has HP fire. So this guy just said, "Nope, you're not predicting my set correct. I have HP fire." Um, I would probably double leech it here, predicting the magna zone. The protect is kind of obvious. Like I double CT every time. Like I kind of like to play aggressive with, with um sell stealer leech seed. So we had a magma storm and a clav. Double yeah. seed is life. Damn, why is this clav still there? I mean, it only has one softball left, so it stole out the trend out of magma storms and out of earth powers. So yeah, <laughs> but it's just chilling there. I don't know why he's not forfeiting. This guy's a fighter. His clav is staying there. Like we're not giving up. We're going <laughs> all in. Like we don't care. <clears throat> So yeah, like I said, double seed would have been a nice play, but he d goes out into Mew, which is fine too. <clears throat> I can see the top of Fini coming in here, just so the Mew can't will with anything. I can also see the Lari coming in and try to like cripple the Mew with a trick or cripple the Celestealer. Or like maybe go Lardy and then double into the Magna Zone predicting Celestila. But the thing is he doesn't even have to make a double. Like after Celestila killed something he can go save in the Magna Zone probably. Like that's probably like a 100% save win without make, having to make a double. If you're like this far ahead. And Alexander versus Femin started. They just they just won't stop, right? They just wanna spam games. So yeah, this this match is over. Skip, 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 skip. Toxic top, sub, sub. You don't have any attacking moves left. Do you see the Alexander with the theme game? Yeah, I see it. Suicune. Ooh, nice Suicune shine. Oh, that could be toxic spikes on the ground for the Suicune support. I assume it's gonna be. Uh, I think AB McGear on this team because he doesn't have good Greninja switch ins. And Femin's team. Oof. Looking kind of cool. Got a regenerator core, but I gotta um, plug my charger in before my computer dies. So he just said, "Let's hack this Kaldio." And that Draco did absolutely nothing because of Misty Terrain. <laughs> there was funny chip damage. Just back into Mew. And watch this Greninja freeze again. No. Nope. And he doesn't hit a gunk shot there, so I don't, that doesn't even make up for the hex from earlier. And Mew gets the Willowers. Okay, I mean, you think, versus you think Mew can potentially bring it back for the Thorn? But yeah, he has to be really careful though. Oh, he did already trick. What did he trick? Let me just control F. Used trick. Oh, it failed. It was on a Z move. Oh yeah, it was only on the Z move, so he didn't trick anything yet. He still has a scarf. Okay, so Alex uh, won his game yesterday versus OB. He's leading over Magina. Uh, Femen. I don't think Femina has played yet in round one. <clears throat> I don't think he would be Scarf Grin. I assume he'll just switch to Tangro. Even I mean, if he has actually, his turn, he his only like Scarf Rock user is Guard Chomp. So he would have to, if he's Scarf Chomp, he's Scarf Rock, so I don't know how I feel about that. So I'm not sure anymore which is the Scarf. 
That did 14, and then I don't know if that's AV, but it bounced off. Magina is that AV Kierna? Magina AV versus Magina. I'm just gonna call it real quick. Yeah, that's AV definitely, and he even has um, probably a calm nature. Because otherwise, it would do a little bit more. It's either it's so either a call nature or this Magina from Alex does not make special attack. But yeah, in this game, Reku obviously uh, his Heatron is going for struggle with his Clefable, which is funny to me. Heatron went down, and then Laddie went for trick at flamethrower, so he tricked this Clefable a choice band, so it's locked into flamethrower now. This Greninja missed the hydro pump, so this game really doesn't want to end. But the no, thorns forfeited. Now he's just going for HP fire. And I can't believe this game is still going on, but yeah, Reiko picks up the win. Pretty nice, uh, well played, and for Team Spain, and yeah, the Thorn, I will just rewatch real quick what happened there. He obviously can't bring it back. <laughs> Brought in the Kel on the trick. He was back into Mew Brick, and ooh, double trick play. Yeah, I guess he didn't lose anything because the Kel was frozen. And yeah, the Thorn forfeited after his Mew got crippled. Mew was his only way of soloing the game, so I can understand. Like, Mew was his way of bringing back the game, basically. Okay, so he Volt switches out. I assume this is... I think both Meginas are Assault Vest. <laughs> That's been the wave lately. Nah, I've seen a lot of Z-move. Oh, even the double dance it would come in a shift key sometimes. What do you even go out into here? Like, it's not like you have good switch ins. I guess Suicune? Why don't you go Zygarde here? Yeah, he can, but that's so risky. Like, I would never make that play. Man, I'm lagging. What did he go for? Oh, Flora can see. That's why he never goes Zygarde. And he gets a crit. Come on, dude. <laughs> My computer does start that's, lagging. That, that's two Fleur Cannons gone. So this Zygarde may be able to potentially set up on this later on. Yeah, um, Femin is on Team Latin America. And Alex is on Team Italy. I'm not sure why my computer is doing this weird lag thing. Who was it that one? Hard Zygarde on a Magirna and got blown away. Um, there was updated Kando, but he like said himself that he didn't play that game too well, and he 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 did pretty um okay the games after. He was using Empoleon earlier. I don't know if you saw his game. <laughs> yeah, I seen that game. The rest sleep talk. Mm -hmm. So, does he risk a potential burn on a chomper? Hard in a Gorchomp. Uh, maybe he has Leaf Storm, which is why he didn't go into Tangrowth. Because if the Suicune went for sub and the Tangrowth only has Leaf Storm to break the sub, it only has 4 PP. Versus this, this um, Kuhn, because pressure. I mean, I've seen quite a lot of STZ move guard drums around what is the play here probably Lando I think it's just gonna rocks up yep oh blurry is playing black and white people need to stop spamming games I mean, I don't really, I don't want to focus on black and white. I'm just gonna open that game in the background because Blurry's on Team Germany. We're obviously gonna focus on this Gen 7 game. So it's gonna be Rox Lando from Alex's side here. <laughs> no, it's it's Rox Magirna. What? I know this team. It's Rox Magirna. I know this team. Yeah, you're trolling. <laughs> I thought McGinn got rocks when it first came out, but like, nah. Man, 
Maybe when that move to comes around. <laughs> I mean, Rox is kind of a waste on McGinn at the moment, I feel, because it can, like, sweep. Or, well, like, the AV set is good utility, the offensive set can sweep. I mean, it's either, it's either set up rocks or U-turn here. The guard jump is probably not staying in. I'm gonna open my window. It's way too fucking hard in my room. Oh, he went for SD. Wow. I guess that's understandable because he can deliver HP eyes. Yeah, wow. Doc Rich Noob got exposed here. Yeah, I thought he would switch. <laughs> You think he's gonna do like um Art McGinna on the Z devastating Drake? Yeah, like what's his name just did? Yeah, like a pivot thing. Lighthouses did that, yeah. That'd be so wild. You don't need this you don't need the Landorus in this matchup as bad as he needed his Landorus in the other matchup. I mean if you really You think the Kuhn is more important? The Kuhn at um how many percent is it? A Kuhn at it comes in after rocks after rocks at thirty eight. So <coughs> either Sekun or Sek Land or I mean I can see him going hard Megina, like but that's a wild play. Well if he goes hard Magirna and he SD easy. Yeah yeah like he will uh, if he goes hard Magina he's gonna oh he makes the play. Ooh Wow Dude, watch him stay in. He's gonna break. He's gonna SD break in the landers and he's gonna get blown away by his young Flurkin. Watch this. Yeah, uh, this is like. Well, you can you can freely go landers here. This is like an yeah. If he has DC, it doesn't outrage kill you. Not defensive, but then it's gonna you be don't... it's gonna be plus two outrage and it's after rocks, and like it's basically like it's plus two because it's gonna be at neutral and then plus two. What happened in the blurry game, by the way? Oh, I think blurry got destroyed. F that sucks. Goes into Ladi predicting Earthquake slash SD. That was a nice mid ground play. Yeah, that was a fire. Yeah, yeah, either Earthquake the Megina or uh, he would SD on the land switch. Oh, Chill Shadow, did this game also start? Not yet, but Chill Shadow's but game is. The, there's a Megina just chilling in the back. Yeah. Oh, so okay, so now he yeah, tried to flex. Now he tried to flex a little bit too much. <laughs> I mean, I can I definitely understand this play. Like, you don't want to give the Medina free switching, but like, oof. So now he's gonna Flurken, no Ice Beam. I think he just has Flurken, because this was locked into Outrage. Okay, he has Ice Beam too. Ice Beam, um, yeah, it's for stuff like Lando to Oko that, because Flurken doesn't Oko that. So, what is he even gonna do? go to now? His own Medina? <laughs> like. <laughs> Megina Still with a special thin, yeah. attack boost is kind of threatening, yeah. Huh. They're saying this was the plan all along. <laughs> I really gotta st stop spamming games because of the gem at Game is gonna be at the ending of my video, like that bounced <laughs> that did off. five. So I assume that's a call again. I yeah. probably mentioned it earlier. Flashkin did zero. But HP fire also did zero. You don't want to. Do you, I don't think you stay in here to like. You have ways to beat this opposing Magirna. You're talking about Alex? It's, 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 yeah, uh, he doesn't have switch ins though. Yeah, I think you have to stay in. I'd rather have this Magirna over the Suicune.
Yeah, for sure. Mm. I mean, he beats the opposing Megina 1-1, one, one, one on one. But the question is, does Ash Winger become a problem if he loses this mag or if it gets too low? Oh, do we know yet the Grinja set? Did it come out? Well, the HP fire doing night 14. Yeah, he sent out Greninja earlier, but he just hot switched it out, so we don't notice that. I think it's Ash. So if he kills the Magirna here, he gets another kill. With this. Another solar boost. If he gets the roll here. So he has been then, speeding this opposing Magirna. I don't think it's a speed die. And then he has no counterplay, so he'll have to sack another Pokemon to this Magirna to yeah. get it lower. And also, Greninja just has to come. Oh, he doesn't get the roll. I mean, that's still okay. Like, Greninja just has to come in on rocks like three times. I'm pretty, sure. I'm pretty like, sure Pump kills. Like, if Greninja comes in on rocks a few times, it's in range to die from E speed from Zygarde. Assuming it's banned Zygarde. Well, I don't think the, the Greninja is gonna kill from Actually, 43. I can see the Zygarde being Z move. I'm not sure if it's banned. So Heatwave is gonna do like 22? I don't know, it's gonna bounce off. He's gonna Heatwave in to try to get his Ash form. Or he will get his Ash form. And then his Ash Greninja can actually win this game on its own. Okay, so this is the so only game going on, so I hope that no other game starts before this one ends. Yeah, this one's, this one's not over yet. Because I really want to end the video after this one, because like three games in one video is like max, so I want to put more games in one. It's 47 minutes. So he probably goes for Ice Beam here with the Megina. Or T-Bolt, if he has it. Oh, no, he showed Volt Switch, so he finally does Oh, that's have 35. It. Oh, it's live up to him, that's why. Oh, he went for Flurkin in case the Torn. Wanted to pivot or something? I don't know. Ash Greninja is here. Ash Greninja is now. Mm, I don't know. Would he go hard grind to stop the Ash Grin from going off? I think that's not really the play. <laughs> Oh uh, no, this is a uh, protein Greninja. Did he show it already? Oh, it's shiny. Yeah, it's I think it has to be protein then. Yeah, I mean, this makes sense. This Greninja is scarfed, right? Because the Gachan was Z move. Yeah. So he's gonna go for either Hyro Pump or. Like, some scarf Greninja don't carry Hyro Pump. Some carry Ice Beam. Yeah, there it is. Does that even kill? Oh my <laughs> god! Well, it was fun. Magina just bust, bopped him completely. No, people are gonna scream Ben Magina now. Watch. <laughs> Anyone know if Magina is good? If he has Dark Pulse, I can see him going hard grand, but it's also risky in case... Nah, I nah. think he's gonna go for Calm Mind here. He, he, he will either hard grin or you hard Zygarde, because the only way you lose now is if this starts setting up, so... Nah, Zygarde yeah. is fine and go for Z move, I guess. He'll definitely Calm Mind here, because he sets up on this. Does Grin even do damage once this has a Calm Mind up? Um, it doesn't do it kill. Probably. Assume then like, you have to assume play with like, Assume it does like 40 something after a Calm Mind. Do we know if it's Ash Granger? Oh. 
Oh. I mean, maybe he's Demon von Landers if he brought this out. No, he's left over. He has shown that before, right? Oh, yeah. shit. If this is defensive Landers. It is defensive. Is defensive. He's left over so the rocks. Yeah, if he's not Ash Greninja, he might lose to this. Like, yeah. I mean, even if he's Ash Greninja, if this gets more comments up, this is like bad. He needs to like crit or something. Shit. Why? Not, not really sure what he predicted there. Did he think that was like offensive trick room? Uh, I don't know why he would think that. The only set that I've seen, like the NJMP set, and it's about to win this game. I mean, yeah, like Suicune is low and this also has Psy Shock, so it would beat the Kuhn one on one. Like, the last move is gonna be, it's like, it's like Calm Mind, Recover, Psy Shock, and then it's either Focus Blast, Shadow Ball, something like that. If it, so if it only has Focus Blast and Guninja dodges every move, maybe it can win. Uh, <laughs> I mean... It's still not over yet, like, he's gonna be forced to recover the next turn if he doesn't recover this turn. Has he brought his eye guard out? I don't think No, he no, has. I don't think. It's probably banded then in it. Yeah, I thought it banded first, but at one point I thought it was the move. I'm not sure anymore. He's thinking hard here, making sure he doesn't lose. Uh, yeah, they're not gonna give me any time to make thumbnails. They're gonna spam games like the entire day. Like <laughs> the next five, six hours, they're just gonna spam games. And I would really appreciate if like people could like <laughs> play one game at a time. Like some days they'll do that, but I guess on Sunday it's not possible when there's so many games. Hard grin predicting the comment or recover. And yeah, dark pulls spam here. I assume if the AI, like if you don't have dark pulls, you would not go to this here. So I assume it's Ash Grin. Um, yeah, at first when I saw the team, I thought maybe it's T Spikes Protein, but I'm not sure. Like, if he's Protein, he's also dark pulls. Like, no matter which grin he is, I think he has dark pulls. Otherwise, he wouldn't bring this out on the Reuni class. Funny how Megina is the opposing Megina to say. <laughs> Early on, did you did you um did you disconnect? Yeah, I see he's he's protein like as I thought earlier, and he gets the flinch. No, but that did absolutely nothing. So, I mean, he puts a. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter unless he gets another one. Meru's game started, which is black and white. I'm not gonna, not gonna record that now. It's risky setting up on this because it's gonna crit <laughs> down. Why is he dotting someone? It's, yeah. I mean, he's gonna recover again. I think he's dotting because this is the counter. No, he's dotting because of the flinch. Ooh, is signal beam and he has to go Zygarde now? And if he's banded Zygarde, he has to go for Outrage. I think T-Arrows doesn't kill. And if he's Z-Move, he can go for Z-Move, obviously. Oh, he could also go for Dragon Dance here. Because I don't think the like the Reunivis can't Oko the Zygarde. And if he's... It would, I don't think yeah, he would switch. Yeah, I think Alex wins this, yeah. But... Damn. I'm not pretty close. Like, I thought he had it, like... Wrapped up early on, and then this reunion almost brought back. Look at Dennis in the chat, that boy cheering for. Like. <laughs> Asia scores 4 and 5. Didn't White Queen just win a game? I guess it's still. 
four, five. Like it's still not positive for the record. Yeah, he goes for outrage. I assume that's bandit because it's a rocky hammer tank. That did so much. Uh, maybe he can lift this on a min 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 roll, but it probably dies. And so the win condition is basically that the Zygot gets a confusion here. Then he has to get his Reuniclus back to full, but it's not. Yeah, it's not gonna be. Po I don't think it's gonna be. <laughs> I don't think Femin wins this. Because even if the Zygot, like. Even if the Zygot hits it. Gets it here confused here? Or maybe he's saying odds because he wants the low roll. I don't know if he's talking about the confusion or about the low roll. Like, even if the Zygot gets confused here, don't you just switch out into Landris and. S you turn spam off quick and you turn so the reuniclus is not at full and then you click bandit outrage afterwards actually mm -hmm. maybe maybe that's not the play oh, i'm not sure yeah you'll you'll just go lander and see what you turn and then you outrage him you just win zygarde no. just wins this has been almost one hour so I might upload this after the the jam bad game. I'm not sure yet because it's gonna take forever to upload. And there's no confusion. So this is just gonna kill the Reuniclus with the Bandit Outrage. Alexander is two and zero, oh, I think, in World Cup for his team. And I think that was Fiend's first game for Latin America. And he lost that one. And yeah, at least he still said GG after dotting him earlier. I mean, I mean, I would, I may, I don't know. I mean, I would be mad, I would be screaming at my screen, but I wouldn't dot in the chat. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys for watching another um, three games in one video World Cup coverage thingy. And yeah, like the, the Jammed game. It's coming closer and closer. Dude, when Jammed joins, Smoktus chat is gonna go wild. But yeah, we'll see you with the with more World Cup coverage and peace out.